Hello everyone, we're only 2 days away from Worlds so let's get our hype up and do this. Group A Well, Rock's Tigers are super solid. They have been dominating LCK for a long time and they're probably the best team in the world right now. They are the strongest contender for the World Cup so it's only expected from them to ace their group. To number 1 you go. G2 Well, you can meme all you want, but they are the first seed from Europe again. I'm sure they'll learn from their mistakes and vacations will be after Worlds now. So the second place is theirs. CLG While they had an amazing performance at MSI, they got a group with two first place seats. And one of them is Rock's Tigers, so I don't think they can make it up. Third place for you. Albus Nox Luna I don't think the wildcards have any chance. Like, I'm sure they are the best in their region, but it's still compared to me saying I'm the best AD carry in my house. Especially against the first seeds from two major regions, I doubt they'll go anywhere. Group B. This one is hard. Like, I don't want to put SKT in first because if you watch the scene, they are not performing very well lately. But yet again, if you watch the scene, you know that only when it matters, they like turn into Super Saiyan and destroy everyone. You know, coming from 7th place to win the spring title, barely getting out of groups and still win MSI. I think they are trolling everyone. But Flash Wolves are known as the Korean Kryptonite. They were strong before and they are even stronger now and for that reason they take number 1. Cloud9 might put up a fight but against Super Saiyan SKT and Giant Destroyer Flash Wolves it won't be enough. I may had a bad season and no one expects them to do well so 4th place for you. Group C EDG just aced LPL with 16-0, so yeah, they are here for the World Cup. While Forgiven had the second best Western performance during the Korean bootcamp, falling just behind Bjergsen, 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 falling just behind Bjergsen, Bjergsen, falling just behind Bjergsen, it won't be enough to carry his team. AHQ had a strong season, being very even with Flash Wolves. They take the second place. Wild card? Yeah, Mordkaiser is still not meta. Group D. TSM. They are the best shot for the West to win worlds. I still miss Reggie with the blue cards, but meh. I guess Jackson is not that bad. Royal never give up. The LPL is divided into two groups, and they had a solid performance too. And if you remember MSI, they almost swept everyone clean in the group stage. So they take the second place. Can the second team from Europe beat the fourth team from Korea? I don't want to say I'm biased, so yes, they can, although I doubt. Join my leaderboard and make your picks for worlds if you haven't yet. I'll leave the link in the description. Thank you for watching and good luck on the fields of justice.